Almost all of the exotics for season 21 have been leaked and that's what we're covering in today's video. Now I'm going to give you a quick spoiler warning though of course because if you don't want to know about what's about to happen then of course you got to click off this video. However, the new season starts in less than 24 hours so who really cares? You're going to know about all of this by this time tomorrow so let's jump right into it. Our source is Liz from D2 Leaks and this is all public information. The first thing she puts here is the helm is somewhat customizable which is definitely interesting. We'll see how that unfolds throughout the entirety of this season except we have the warlock has an exotic helmet titan has an exotic chest and hunter gets exotic arms this season apparently there's a new strand trace rifle and it reads shooting an ally guardian gives you and the ally woven mail shooting an enemy severs them that sounds absolutely crazy I cannot wait to get my hands on this strand trace rifle and just start firing it around like a wild fireman's hose, spraying down my enemies and shooting all of my teammates and everything. I love it. Next up, we have a stasis scout rifle, which reads headshots apply slow slash freeze eventually. So now I'm just picturing being in the back of an encounter and just chipping away at enemies, slowing them all down, freezing them. That honestly sounds like a lot of fun and probably synergizes really well with certain builds. Next up, we have an arc auto rifle. Charge up the gun. Every bullet after the charge is arc lightning. Is this it? Is Zalo back? Do we have a, a Zalo Supercell return into Destiny 2? One of my favorite exotics from Destiny 1 was the Zalo Supercell. Comment down below if you remember actually using this bad boy in D1. Hopefully this thing is as powerful as it was in D1 and not a great value version of the Zalo Supercell. Next up we have Warlock Helm is for Trace Rifles. Not sure exactly how the Warlock Helmet is going to buff Trace Rifles, but definitely seems interesting. The Hunter Exotic is for Glaives. It was an error that they put there. It actually meant to say Glaives, but it auto corrected to flavors so hunter's about to be going around stabbing things with glaives this season the next one is the titan exotic is for barricade they also added a footnote that it's for barricades and grenades later on which is interesting and the name of that mysterious sea monster is apparently arxia apparently other leakers have confirmed all this information so it's probably pretty credible stuff let me know your thoughts about all this down in the comments below and as always make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all the news in destiny 2 smash the like button i'll see you in the next one later